Hello Nordango students and in this tutorial we're going to look at programming using Scratch Junior and we're going to be learning to drive across the city. We're going to be looking at uh, how to use Scratch Junior interface and about using motion controls about moving a sprite from one side to another. So let's have a look. So if I open up the Scratch Junior we have down the bottom, we've got lots of different commands. We have our blocks to make for starting it with, with uh, the flag or for touching it, or when uh, what happens when two sprites touch. The blue button with an arrow is all about movement. The person is about making things, objects larger or smaller or or appear or disappear. We've got sound and we've got some control ones. So this is about do it, repeating things over and over again or making things uh, going faster or stopping or weight blocks. Let's let's add a background. OK, let's let's add a background. Let's add a background onto here and we're going to add a city. And we're going to add a car. Let's find a car on here. So where is our lovely car? There we go. We're going to have a blue car on here. Look at this blue car. Let's just select the uh, the uh, the character, and let's remove our character. So we want to remove. So let's just make our car smaller, okay? So if I select my car, I can then select the uh, block here and I can drag it down. And if I just click on it, it goes smaller and smaller. And then I can move it in the right place. I can then take my block off, back into the code, and it disappears. And if we want to delete this character here, let's just press and hold on the screen, and this X will appear, and we can delete it. Let's make our car move. So let's go and get the yellow block, and we'll get our flag. Our flag is what we're going to click on. Then we're going to go to the motion block. And we're going to move it. So we're going to drag our arrow. And then we're going to get a stop block. And if I press play, let's see it go to the end. Oh, it only went here. So we need to change something. We need to change this number. Let's change this number to a much bigger number. Let's put 18 over. We put a new number and it now moves. It goes all the way to the end. In fact, it goes too far, so let's just make this smaller. Okay, press play. There we go, it goes all the way to the end. Now it's your turn. Have a go. Make your car go from one side to the other, just like what I've done. Good luck, boys and girls. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.